You know, if any managing partner of any law firm asked me, what is the best thing that I to do, the quickest thing to do in order to develop my practice, the answer would be quite simple, cross-selling. What is cross-selling? Cross-selling means you have an existing client for your product or your service, and you offer them another product or service. The amazing thing is that almost no law firms are good at cross-selling. Almost no law firms have a systematic approach to cross-selling. What do I see across Europe? I see the typical law firm has one client with one lawyer in one area of expertise, and that's it. But that's, that's, that's just amazing, because the typical client has at least three practice needs. So, in the topic of cross-selling, we look at how to systematically improve the relations between the client and the lawyers, not just one lawyer. We need to see how to introduce our colleagues from the law firm. We can do this through T marketing, T for three. I could ask you, as a lawyer, as a partner, when was the last time that you invited a client for a meeting, for a tea or a lunch? That's fine, that's a tea for two. But when was the last time you did that and you introduced one of your colleagues at your initiative? You know, you really should do that. The chance of conversion, the chance of success is very, very high. So, we look at, in, in cross-selling, we look at team marketing. We look at how to do that. Do you do business development meetings in your firm? And in the business development meetings, let's say each month, do you focus on your current clients? If you do, a very useful thing to do would be a cross-sell grid. Why don't you have a list of all of the, the lawyers by practice and a list vertically, let's say, of your main clients and we identify who could introduce whom to whom. That's a cross-sell grid. A very simple activity to do that you could do within maybe 10 minutes and 15 minutes in your business development meeting, which would elicit and allow us to see some wonderful opportunities for introductions. Again, none of the law firms that I've seen are actually doing this, at least not systematically. Do we know how to do a coin analysis? You know, do we have an approach to post-closing meetings? Most of the law firms, when they're working with a client, especially with transactional clients, let's say that's in litigation, in uh, M&A, they do some work with the client, the client finishes the work, and they fall off the cliff of the relationship. We drop them and then we move on. That's craziness. One way to retain your good clients is through cross-selling. Do you do post-closing meetings? If not, that's something which we can examine. How to do a post-closing meeting, how to introduce one of our colleagues, and how to retain the client for the firm. So that's something which is very useful for us to be able to do.